stabbed in national capital after a brief encounter, explosive devices recovered. Former Union Finance Secretary Rajiv Kumar will be new election commissioner. Guidelines issued for polls in the time of war. Three states report a rise in corona positive cases. Number in Tripura crosses 8,000. COVID 19 recovery rate in country touches 74.69% mark. More than 10 lakh tests conducted in a single day. Ganesh Chaturthi being celebrated across the country. President and Prime Minister greet people on the occasion. Good evening viewers and welcome to the Nautius News Bulletin. This is Sarswati Singha and now with the details. In national news first, the special cell of Delhi police has arrested a suspected ISIS agent from the national capital. Talking to the media, Deputy Commissioner of Police, special cell Pramod Singh Kushwaha said, an ISIS agent was arrested in the wee hours of Friday after a brief encounter in the Ridge Road area between Dhola Kwan and Karol Bagh. He said, Two improvised explosive devices were recovered from the accused. In more national news, former Union Finance Secretary Rajiv Kumar has been appointed new election commissioner. He will replace Ashok Lavasa who resigned earlier this week. Kumar will take charge the day Lavasa leaves his office on August 31st. Kumar's appointment comes at a time when the election commissioner commission is preparing to hold Bihar assembly polls amid the coronavirus pandemic. A 1984 batch IS officer of Jharkhand Kadar, Rajiv Kumar has over three decades of experience in public policy and administration across various sectors. He played a major role in merging 10 public sector banks into four. During his two and a half year stint as Financial Services Secretary, he took several policy decisions to promote responsive and responsible banking. Known for his bold moves, Kumar undertook a massive 3 lakh crore rupees recapitalization of banks during his tenure. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has issued detailed guidelines related to key activities for conducting upcoming general elections and by-elections in various states and union territories during the period of COVID-19 pandemic. Those found violating the instructions on COVID-19 measures even during the campaign process will be liable to be proceeded against as per the provisions of the Dis Disaster Management Act 2005. During the campaign process, not more than five people have been allowed for door-to-door -door campaigning. During the road shows, the convoy should have a gap after every set of five vehicles. Public gatherings and rallies can be conducted with strict adherence to the COVID-19 guidelines. The guidelines state that every person has to wear a face mask during election-related activity. Thermal scanning of all persons has also been necessitated at every entry point. Sanitizers, soap and water shall be made available in the premises. The number of corona positive patients in Arunachal Pradesh rose to 3,126 among whom 2 1,125 people recovered and 5 people lost their lives. In Manipur, the number rose to 5,049, of whom 3,261 recovered. In Meghalaya, the number rose to 1,718, of whom 749 have recovered. Mizoram counted a total of 903 corona positive cases, among whom 420 recovered. Nagaland counted a total number of 3,619 with 2,074 recoveries, whereas 1,336 people were positive in Sikkim with 834 recoveries. In Tripura, 8,371 people were reported positive with 6,061 recoveries. In Assam, Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Himata Visha Sharma in a tweet said the total number of active COVID-19 patients in the state has gone up to 22,022, whereas 65,596 patients have been discharged so far. 
In the last 24 hours of 36,180 tests tested samples, 1,856 samples were positive. The positivity rate has reached 5.2, 12%. In Meghalaya, the wake of rising COVID-19 positive cases, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma, along with his cabinet colleagues, convened a meeting with all the MLAs from East Kasi Hills District in Shillong on Friday to discuss and solicit views from the public representatives towards the government's long-term COVID management strategy. During the meeting, the Chief Minister said the COVID situation is becoming complicated and urgent collective action was needed in the seemingly long battle ahead against the virus. When it comes to COVID-19, all the public representatives need to work as a team, he said while stating that lockdown is nothing but a temporary solution against something that the country and the state have to face in the long run. The recovery rate from COVID-19 has improved further and it has reached 74.69% today. During the last 24 hours, 63,631 COVID patients have recovered. With this, a total of over 22,23,000 people have recovered in the country so far. The case fatality rate continues to show steady decline and now stands at 1.87%. The health ministry said early identification through testing, prompt and effective treatment through supervised home isolation and quality medical care and innovative graded policy measures have resulted in almost 100 percent increase in the recovered cases in the last 21 days presently the total number of active cases in the country is over 697 during the last 24 hours 945 deaths were reported taking the toll to 55,950. With a spike of 69,874 infections in a day, India's COVID-19 tally increased to 29,79,562. There are 6,97,330 active cases of coronavirus infection in the country. India has crossed the milestone of conducting 10 lakh COVID-19 tests in a single day. Union Health Ministry has said that during the last 24 hours, more than 10 lakh 23,000 people were tested. This has taken the cumulative test to over 3 crore 44 lakh. A cumulative total of 3 crore 44 lakh 91,073 samples have been conducted up to August 21st with 10 lakh 23,836 samples being tested on Friday, the highest done in a day so far. Uh, you know we have the uh, best uh, recovery rate in the world today. It's, uh, it has reached almost 75%. Uh, Every day our fatality rate is uh, getting better in the sense that it is lower than the previous day. Today uh, morning data showed it as one point. 87 percent. It's, I think, a remarkable uh, performance on the part of India. Uh, when uh, people had projected over 3 million, uh, 300 million uh, cases in India in the month of uh, July, August, uh, we have not even reached 3 million. And out of those 3 million, 2.2 million have already recovered and gone back home. Uh, you see, uh, started this uh, new makeshift hospital which has been created with the help of one of our uh, premier labs of CSIR and uh, we intend to create many more hospitals like this in collaboration with the uh, mm, the novel coronavirus has affected 2 crore 31,41,010 people across the globe till date. The dead toll rose to 8,3,551. Till date, 1 crore 57,26,896 people have recovered till date. U.S. accounted a total case of 57,96,727. Brazil followed next with a total of 35,36,488 COVID-19 cases and Russia had 9,51,897 cases. Director General of the World Health Organization, WHO, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus has said COVID-19 vaccine nationalism needs to be prevented. The WHO chief has tweeted that for this reason, WHO is working with governments and the private sector through the ACT accelerator to ensure that new innovations are available to everyone everywhere, starting with those at highest risk. 
Progress doesn't mean victory. The fact remains that most people remain susceptible to this virus. That's why it's vital that countries are able to quickly identify and prevent clusters to prevent community transmission and the possibility of new restrictions. No country can just ride this out until the world has a vaccine. A vaccine will be vital tool, he said. The National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, a public sector unit under the Union Ministry of Road and Transport, has developed a mobile app, Harit Path, to facilitate creation of green highways across the country. The app will also be used to monitor location, growth, species details, maintenance activities, targets and achievements of each of the PSU's field units for every plant under the highway plantation projects. Harit Path was inaugurated by the Union Minister for Road and Transport, Nitin Gadkari, today. NHAI had also recently undertaken a nationwide plantation drive, Harit Bharat Sankalp, under which it planted over 25 lakh plants in 25 days along the stretches of the national highways across the country. Highway contractors have been made accountable for proper upkeep and maintenance of the plantations. Under a unique initiative, the payment to the contractors for the plantation work has been linked with the growth of the plants. The festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is being celebrated across the country with great devotion today. The day marks the birth of Lord Ganesha, who is a symbol of wisdom, prosperity and good fortune. People place clay idols of Lord Ganesha in their home and worship them during the 10-day festival. Ganesh Chaturthi is a major attraction in Maharashtra, where people celebrate it with great zeal. President Ramnath Kovin and Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu have greeted people on Ganesh Chaturthi. Kovin said, the festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is an expression of people's enthusiasm, joy and forbearance in taking every section of the society along on this occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also greeted people on the occasion. In a tweet, Modi hoped that the blessings of Bhagwan Shri Ganesh will always be upon the people and there will be joy and prosperity all over. In Arunachal Pradesh, State Civil Aviation Minister Nakab Nalo today visited Halongi Greenfield Airport site at Halongi in capital Itanagar region to monitor the work in progress. He took a round of the project site and discussed issues with the project officers. Talking to media, he said 80% of rehabilitation work has been completed. Nalo said the government is committed to complete the project by the year 2022 and the new airport will certainly boost tourism and other activities in the state. The foundation for Halongi Greenfield Airport project was laid by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in February 2019 during his visit to Itanagar. And to end the news, the headlines once again. ISIS agent nabbed in national capital after brief encounter, explosive devices recovered. Former Union Finance Secretary Rajiv Kumar will be new election commissioner. Guidelines issued for polls in the time of Corona. All northeastern states report a rise in Corona positive cases. Number in Tripura crosses 8,000. Recovery rate in country touches 74.69% mark, more than 10 lakh tests conducted in a single day. And Ganesh Chaturthi being celebrated across the country, President Prime Minister greet people on the occasion. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.